Hello my friends and welcome to our full stack next JS course. My name is Zeno and I'm going to be your instructor throughout the course. In this course I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to build enterprise level application with next JS. And we're going to be building this project which I call Superblog. It's an AI enhanced blog that enables us to auto post to other blogs such as Medium, uh, Dev.to and even Hashnode. Let's go through uh, what the homepage looks like. So we have a very simple homepage. It has a text animation and featured post, which is set by the admin user. And then we have the recent post and a simple design footer. We also have the theme toggle. So there's light theme, dark theme, and we also have respect for the user's preference on their system. But for now, let's just stick with light theme. Now, let me quickly go to the login page and show you what we have there. So on the login page, we have sign in with Google, sign in with GitHub, and login with username and password. For now, I'm just going to sign in with Google. I'm going to come back later to show you a lot we do on authentication and authorization. So there's a lot of talk about authentication, but very little about authorization in Next.js. I'm going to teach you that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with Google. So I'm currently logged in with Google. And like I said, I just want to quickly show you the main features of the project. And the first will be the AI feature. So I'm gonna to come to posts there's a lot to explain here a lot of functionalities but let's just head over to create posts now this is where we can create an article or a post the title the category the images and all of that but i'll scroll down to the post content and then i'll just click on this button here that says superblog ai if you click on that button it's going to slide out this ai interface where you can literally gets assistance from the ai now it's not just a random ai integration for example if i say what is your name it's just going to tell me watch so it says i am super blog ai all right so now let's just tell it to generate some articles for our blog so you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to just get this prompt and i'll say hello can you just list 10 topics for my blog so it already knows what our blog is about we are a tech blog and all of that so it's going to generate 10 topics for our blog all right so as you can see, it's generating a list of topics for our blog. And you notice that these are tech related because we are a tech blog. Now I'll show you how you can customize it such that even if you were uh, another kind of blog, it will you know be able to interact with you from that standpoint. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, you know select one of the topics here. Let's see top 10 JavaScript libraries for web development, tail with CSS, understanding main stack development. SEO techniques. Okay, let's just go with SEO techniques for Next.js website. So I'm just going to copy this topic here and I just want to show you some other things. If I paste this topic here, I give it a space and then I say um, colon and I say keyword. So watch what happens. I say colon keyword and I hit enter. What it will do is that it will look at this topic and tell me what people are searching for on Google based on this topic so whenever people want to search for seo as regards next.js this is how they search they say next.js seo tips optimizing seo for next.js and all of that so this is how they search now we have the keywords of what people are looking for because we want to build an seo optimized blog so what i'm going to do is i'm also go i'm just going to come here let's say i want to write a topic on seo techniques for next.js i'm just going to come here and you know what let me just copy this one this one looks like a better um you know it looks like a better title so i'll just paste this in and then i'll give it a space and then i'll say colon seo now just by doing this it's going to generate an article for me with all of the relevant seo or that means search engine optimized keywords so just look at this i'll hit enter and let's watch what happens so it's loading All right, look at this. It's generating a blog post for us for this. It's generating a search engine optimized blog post for this particular topic. All right, so now this may take a while. So let me just um, pause the video and then I'll just come back immediately. It's done. All right, so it's still generating and it's generating quality search engine optimized content for us. Now, this thing you see here is what a lot of people build into their SaaS and charge people on a monthly basis for it. I'm teaching you for next to nothing. All right, so now let's assume we wanted to create this topic. I'll just copy this um, topic here 
and then i'm just going to come to my blog and let me just slot it in here so paste that in it's on next.js i'll select a category and that would be next.js and then i have to upload an image now to be honest i have not prepared an image to upload but i'm still going to have to upload something for this particular uh post so let me just click here and you know what i will just upload um something simple okay let me just upload something i've used before so i'll just upload this particular one i wanted to upload something wider something bigger so let me remove the image and then try upload something else sorry about that so i just went and got this image and i'm going to upload it so now this image is being uploaded to cloudinary which i'm also going to show you or now we can either set our post to draft or to published now when we're working on a post we set it to draft but i'm going to set this one to published now since i've already generated some content for this post i'm just going to click on super blog ai and then i'm just going to grab everything except the main heading so let's just assume this is what we want i'm just going to copy it and then come back here and slot it in like so so this is it right now you may have to format it just a little bit for example you may have to do things like um adding some you know space and all of that so that's what i'm just going to do quickly so i formatted it just a little bit and i'm just going to scroll down to the bottom and i'll click on create post now this post is going to be created and we can see it right here in our post page right here in our post page so this is next.js seo best practices of course if you go to the front end of your website you should see what your post look like which is what i recommend you do before you auto post to other blogs so this is what our post look like it's a very simple post right now let's go back to our admin dashboard and i'll show you the next main feature in this project so i'll go back to my post and this is the post right here now supposing i wanted to auto post this blog to other blogs like medium hash node and even dev.to what i just need to do is come here and you see here it says cross post if i click on this guy it will bring up this interface it shows me the summary of the blog and then i can now select where i want to cross post it to so for example if i wanted to cross post it to let's start with dev.to i'll select dev.to and i'll click on auto post it tells me that my article has been posted to dev.to but we need to confirm so i'm going to head over to my dev.to account this is what i currently have and i'll refresh the page as you can see here we have next.js seo best practices just to be sure i'm going to try to open this in a new tab to see if it really sorry if it was really posted so this is next year's best practices you see the image you see the um, content of our blog and everything is just nicely posted here that's the first let's try out another blog so i'm going to come here and select hash node and click on auto post and let's see what happens so it tells articles posted to hash node so let's come over to my hash node blog and refresh this is what i currently have as the last post i'm going to come here and i'll refresh it and you can see here we have this right here so i'll click on this blog post just to see what it looks like and this is what it looks like on hash node oh i'm currently viewing it on dark mode but on light mode this is what it looks like all right the last but not the least is to auto post to medium so if i come here and select medium and i click on auto post it's going to okay article posted to medium so if i come to my medium this is my medium you see here this is the last post i have if i refresh it watch what happens so immediately tells me next year's seo best practices so i've been i've been able to post it to both the three blogs hash node uh, dev.to and medium now that's the one of the interesting functionalities the third very interesting functionality is so supposing in your blog you've created an article you are generating a lot of uh, views on your blog and you have a product you want to advertise on your blog how do you do that some people will have to go and post let me open this article and show you some people may have to come and post that article at the bottom of every post which does not make sense because many people may not get to the end of your post so i'm also going to show you how to dynamically post articles or promos or adverts inside of your post so right inside the body of your post just like google or any other ad platform so i'm going to head over back to my admin account i told you this course was fully packed like i don't know how long this demo is going to take but i really want it to be fast so i'm going to come here to promo so i'll click on promo and currently you see here we have one promo but i want to create a new one from scratch so i'll click on create promo 
and then i'm going to select a title so let's just say i wanted to advertise one of my courses which let me just advertise my javascript bootcamp so i'll say more than okay more than so i'll say modern javascript course and then i'm going to select the category as web development let's post a little bit of the content for our description and as you can see as we're posting it's updating and showing us what our advert looks like um i'm going to scroll down here what the button text will be i'll say enroll now all right so you see it's displayed here then the promo image and the promo link so here i'm just going to copy an image so copy that and slot that in here you see here the image is loaded and displayed here then lastly i'm going to copy the link as to where i want the users to go so let me just copy that and i'll paste that in here now let's create this promo i'll click on create fingers crossed and it says promo created now we can see that promo here remember when we go to the front end of our blog so let me just open this in a new tab we can only just see the content of each post so i'll open this post for example and i'll scroll down you can see the content of the post and nothing more but if i come here as the admin and i select this post so if i click there it tells me that this promo ac action successful so what is that means is that i've set this promo or this advert to active the reason why i named it promo is because if you use any keyword that has ads in it if people have an ad blocker it's going to be blocked it won't be displayed on the blog so that's why i changed it to promo so i'm going to come here and i'll just refresh the page watch what happens so i'm refreshing this specific blog and let's scroll down voila so you see here we've been able to inject that our promo into this particular blog but not just this particular blog into all the blog posts on our website so this is how you can monetize your website or you can even advertise for yourself on your blog so let me just go to another content so like this one and see if truly that promo was displayed in all of our blogs i'll scroll down and as you can see we have it right here now let me come back here just to show you that we know what we are doing if i unselect this see and i now select this one watch what happens so we've changed this guy let me come here and refresh this blog post and let's see what happens so we've refreshed the blog post and i'm going to scroll down and as you can see we have an entirely new advert now let's take this a step further for that i'll need to go back here and work with this so let's work with this one because we just created it what we i, I just want to let you know that we're also tracking it so currently we have two views because like we've reloaded the page twice and we have zero clicks so if i come here and i reload this page let me just reload the page aha and I click on enroll now watch what happens i'll click on enroll now it's going to open the link in a new tab all right i don't think i want to wait for that but i'm going to come back here remember i clicked on this guy once so this is the course it has opened that now i'm going to come back to my admin dashboard and refresh this page i just want to show you what happens when a user clicks on a particular link so you see here i have four views and one click so we're able to track how many people have been able to click on our advert and all of that in another course i'm going to show you how you can integrate advanced analytics into any link on your website but these are the three main functionalities of this particular project now there's a lot that we cover a whole lot let me just go through some of them so things like authentication authorization we cover a lot about it so for that i'm going to need to show you with another account so this is a fresh tab and let me try to log in with username and password so like i said we have login with username and password so with login with username and password we have the registration cycle and we have the password reset cycle which is what you see here so but let me just try and log in with a username and password and i think that is i've changed the password a number of times so i'm not sure which one i did last all right so you see i'm able to log in with username and password and i can you know just view the details about my profile here so this is just a small detail about the profile but what i really want to show you is the password reset cycle so if i come here and say forgot password and i want to reset my password i say reset password let's watch what happens so it's gonna you know send me a reset link now let me show you what that reset link is 
so i'll come here to this particular email and let me refresh this guy and as you can see we get a reset password link so if i open that this is what the reset password link looks like now i'm also going to show you how you can create beautiful templates for your emails without writing a single line of code this particular template i built it without writing a single line of code and you can do it as much as you want so i'm going to right click to copy the link because in this browser here i'm logged in as the admin so i will come to my incognito tab and paste that link in here and then open it up it shows me this password reset page now i'm just going to reset the password to something else so all right i'll come here all right and then i'll click on reset password all right so it says password reset successful now if i try to log in with the previous password it's not going to work i wish i saved it in the browser so if i do that you see it will tell me that my i have invalid email or password but if i try with the password i just reset now sorry and i click on login you see here i'm able to log in now i was saying something about email templates so let me show you that it's very easy to create different kinds of email templates so for example if i come to my contact us page and i say that i want to send an email so super blog production let me just say production o n and then i'll just say this is zeno this is zeno and then i click on send message so it sends the message let's see what the message looks like so i'm going to come back here to my admin email and let me refresh this guy and then i'll open that up now look at this it says new message from superblog look at the subject superblog production hello from superblog this is zeno blah 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 so i'm going to show you how you can create several different kinds of templates unlimited number of templates for your uh blog project or your website project or whatever it is you're building now let's come and explore some of the functionalities for the user so for the user the user is able to um interact with the blogs on the website so if i go to all posts i can for example click on this post and as a user i'm able to interact with the post i'm able to leave a comment now we integrated discuss comments for easy integration if the user can log in with several options to add a comment to the blog so the user can leave comments on your blog and all of that but what if you don't you want to suspend the user account meanwhile on the left side or on the right side here we have featured posts we have the categories and then we have the popular posts which is um, sorted out by the views so but what if you wanted to you don't want to authorize this user to be able to interact with your blog so as an admin you can do that so if i come here to users you're going to see that we have a users tab and on this users tab we have the list of all the users so this user for example if i wanted to suspend this user all i just need to do is to say update rule and select suspended now if i click on update rule you see here immediately it changed to suspended now this user will not be able to add comments or do whatever it is you don't want them to do if they are suspended so let me refer now right now we see here that they have this you know option to add comments but if i refresh this page you will see that that option is gone so they're not even going to see the comment section at all they are just going to be able to read you know the blog so that's what authentication and authorization that's how you differentiate them let me show you something else so supposing i wanted to like i have access to this url as a user and i copy this url i come here and slot it in and then hit enter watch what happens so it tells me permission denied this page can only be viewed by an admin user so what that is is that we have both um back end authentication and authorization and on the front end that's where we have that in place so even if the user has a regular user has the url they will still not be able to access you know what you do not authorize them to let us see some of the things so on the front end also we have things like you know the categories let me just show you some of those things so we have things like the categories the filter categories and all of that so you see here web development has three css has one and all of that if i go back to the post 
um okay let me just go to a post you see here that we also have featured posts now i was telling you that this featured post is actually determined by the admin so for example um if i go to the home page for example you see here in our feature post we have this one html but if i come here in the admin dashboard and i go to post and i want to change the feature post let's say i don't want this html to be a featured post all i can just come here is click on this feature post and it's removed and then i want to make the first one let's just say javascript variables if i click on here to feature this post it's going to be set and then if i go back to the home page and let's just go back to the home page watch what happens so you see we now have javascript variables as our featured post so that is completely set by the admin let's come back and see some of the other functionalities you can edit a post you can feature a post you can cross post you can delete a post now if you wanted to delete a post it's going to ask you for a keyword well, this keyword can be determined by you it can be the name of the post it can be something else but if i just type this keyword delete immediately i'm going to see a delete button now obviously i don't want to delete this post there's also the option to bulk delete or bulk you know set posts so for that i'm going to need to create two dummy posts and let me just quickly do that create posts so right here i've created two dummy posts and as you can see they're in different categories one is set to publish the other is set to draft if i highlight these two posts I can come here and select an option so for example if i wanted to make both of them draft i click draft and i click apply you see here that both of them have been set to draft if i wanted to publish both of them i'll click apply and both of them will be set to published oh, okay i need to select two items or okay one or two one or more items rather i'll click on apply and it's going to be set to published what if i wanted to delete the both of them so if i come here click on action to delete and click on apply i just want to show you the bulk feature you see here that it's immediately deleted from our database there's the option to search the entire blog so for example i want to search for anything that has java if i click that it's going to take me to the post page and show me whatever is related to java javascript java whatever if i delete all of this it's going to immediately load all the blogs and it, remember it's paginated so if i click on page two right you see the other parts of the blog now we don't have so much here all right so let's go back to the admin and see some other things that we are able to do with the blog dashboard all right so here you see here that we have the total posts the total views categories total users and then if you come here we're able to create the categories ourselves so we can create a category by just clicking on create and add any number of categories we want then um so i think that's about it there's a lot we're going to cover but i don't want the uh the demo to be too long it's already more than 20 minutes right so i think that's about it by now if you're convinced that this uh course is packed then i totally recommend you get it all right so that's about it thank you so much i'll see you in the course